Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 as the Netherlands. And thanks to our massive spanking of Castile, we have huge power projection. Everyone knows that we are the big kid on the block at this point. We have impressed people. You know, you gotta go and hit the, the biggest dude you can find and gain some respect. So, I'm gonna pick up some troops over here. Hey, Drydock is finished. Attack in Midnabi, which is fine. Bonus rep diplomatic relationship is good. Um... And right now, our economy is a bit in a tank because of the overextension. But I'm tempted to send out a couple, uh, an extra colonist right now. Um, we've got one going on there. And are we still... We've got our colonist here. Oh, you know what? I want to finish this because I want to get the spices to complete. That is a lot of rebels. Sucks to be you. Hopefully they don't come into my territory. But your tech level is terrible, right? Oh, it is nine. It's not as bad as I would have thought. Oh, Chinese. Okay. I thought they would have been um, just tribal or something like that. Um, you know what? I need some troops here. Because the rebels, or the natives might have actually risen up. And you can get on the boat and land there. Thank you very much. Y you get on the boat. Boats will be coming way over here. Take care of this rebel problem. Land in Micmac. Uh, and you are trying to move there. Austria coalition against us. Yeah, not not a terrible surprise. Okay, everyone's going to be merging up here in a second. Okay, so people who are trading. We've got you... In some unnamed trade node, and one doesn't really do much. I should really these ones who are doing ones. Okay, what? Let's have you go here. And there. You're doing the Cape of Good Hope, which is good. You're doing the Ceylon, which is fine. Ivory Coast, which is groovy. London, which is fine. Do we have a do we have a merchant here? Oh, but we can patrol it because we've got uh Ireland. That's right. So we're not pulling a ton of trade forward, but we are pulling some out of there into us uh, that's okay we've got Lubeck and Lubeck again which is probably pretty good even then we're having a hard time pulling a sizable amount but again we're overextended so that shouldn't be a terrible surprise we've got one ship that is here it is a light ship and originally that was supposed to do exploration but I think what I can do at this point is pull it back to over here we'll have it join that trade fleet and then one more trade fleet we'll drop it off in Zanzibar Okay, Portugal entered the coalition. Yeah, not a surprise. Uh, there could be a war coming our way, so we're going to have to want to manage our economy and be ready to hire a lot of mercs. Speaking of mercs, we could probably disband the ones that we used to smash that. I'm still happy that I did it. may not have been necessary, but I'm fine with it. Uh, there we go, more coalition. These are my transports, right? So rather than come directly over there... Actually, that's eight. We might need a few more troops. Clearly, I was going to pick up those guys. And we'll do enough. We'll land there. It'll be okay. So how short are we? 30,000 men to be fully reinforced. Diplomat is back. Mahe, mahe, mahe. I think we're waiting for one more as well. This one here, yeah. So we'll have a four stack. Royal marriage from Admaniac. Yeah. Oh, right. I can royal marry. I forgot my government form allows me to do that. Yes, definitely do that. And I think Savoy... Well, it's an interesting question. Or no, Tunisia. Tunisia is the right religion, so... Dynastic. Royal marriage. Good. Getting attrition over here, really. Um, split up. Send half of you over here. What else we got going on? We got a vassal in Granada. Now, we released them, so they're going to be Catholic, so we can marry them as well. Good. Oh, we do have some more troops there. Okay, so we're going to be fine as soon as we get everyone together. Excellent. You hit there. You're there. Um, do I release the mercs? Probably. Detach them. We'll save a little bit of money. Get rid of you. Detach you. so below our force limit well no actually we're our force limit is really high the problem is nothing is actually reinforced or yeah 
and we can use some extra ships. Certainly I would like more lights and more heavies. What do we prioritize? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, trade situation. We are hoping to keep driving trade out of Zanzibar and down the coast where we can where we have really good throughput. Yeah. So you guys are going to be working the Zanzibarian trade node. Right there. Thank you very much. Still like to do the Indian War thing. I still have a huge stack of troops there. Creation of the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. In the wake of the creation of the Bank of Amsterdam in 1609, well, historically speaking, not in our game, the city stock exchange had become more and more active. Having taken over from Antwerp the role of leading financial place, the stock exchange flourished. Funds from all over Europe would become available and loans were easily available or accessible at rates unmatched anywhere else. This was enhanced by the capitalistic success of the Dutch East India Company and even the less successful West India Trade Company. So we can expand the loan market which decreases the interest, which actually is pretty good, and it's for life, or issues stick con strict controls, which lowers inflation. Oh, so both of these events are awesome. So the question is, what is more important? Well, we have an idea. No? What is causing... Our inflation to drop. Advisors, buildings, and ideas reduce it by 0.11. No. Oh, hold on. Might be one of these. Ah, there we go. We get free inflation reduction already. We could have more of it, or we could drop the interest, which would actually be pretty good. Now, most of the time when we get inflation, it'll be from bank loans, so it's sort of a half and a half. Um, the difference is if we get more gold mines, then the inflation becomes better pretty damn quickly. I guess with that in mind, maybe just keeping the inflation all the way down is going to be the best, especially if I repay some of these loans, actually. That would cut back on our interest. I mean, you have to pay for the interest right away. And there's possibility we're going to be grabbing more gold here. Things can happen. Oh, the Ottomans are expanding, which is very bad. I mean, there's very little chance I'll be in direct conflict with the Ottomans, but it's still not helping the cause overall. Let's go for the inflation reduction. And that, that ain't bad. Dummerland. Oh, that is huge. And a 525 liter. Uh, when I have, like, nothing around to fight against it. Um, speaking of, I forgot to start coring. We're definitely going to start with Andalusia. Which probably means I should keep some people there. But the rebel stacks are going to be... Oh, they're going to be so bad. Um, core what we can. And we'll figure out what to do with it. So, okay. All these ships. So, I am not currently patrolling Antwerp, do I? I don't have any ships doing the Antwerp trade node. Now, I all, even without that, I have 81% of the trade power. So, I guess I don't actually have to spend a whole lot of effort doing that. That's fine. Um... I don't have anyone in Western Europe anymore, so I should probably do something about that. Not that there's a huge amount of money, but there's some amount of money. Okay, let's break off the light ships, split you in half. 27 in Western Europe? Maybe. Do I have someone collecting trade in Seville? No, because I'm trying to starve Seville. Yeah, you know, I do want the 27 ships in the Western Europe trade node. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, although, again, we won't see huge results yet. Do we have ships patrolling Genoa? No one named that, although that reminds me. Tree, West, Europe. So, a fair amount of it is getting pulled up, but there certainly could be more. Especially if we're still trying to starve out Seville. Although, we're gaining more and more direct influence over here. We maybe should have a merchant collecting trade here, instead of starving it out is an idea. Uh, in any case, we don't want Genoa to hold on to it. So, that's what you're going to do. Oops, there it was. There's probably more stuff I could be doing around Africa and whatnot, but it's fine. Um, That power projection, this is really good. Considered unlawfully held. Hmm. How many points am I making? Ten here. I have one too many diplomatic relations, but they're good. They're, they're all good relations. 
I mean, I suppose I could always... I don't actually have an alliance with Savoy. I forgot about that. And they hate me right now because of things that happened in our past. Mostly the insult. And sabotage reputation. What the hell is that? Is that is that a spy action? It is. So someone is sabotaging my relationship. All right, that's super effective. I will say that. Let's go ahead and improve relations with Savoy. Try to get them back on our side. Hmm. Now what? We've got black flag troops over here. So, right, I didn't take that. And that's okay. That's that's all right. We'll move you to Tangiers for now and figure out what we want to do with you. Um, and we have way too many transport ships doing this whole trip, but we'll take... Uh, Corrupt Viceroy is 10% less global tariffs for five years or gain to inflation. Well, we don't make that much from tariffs, if I recall correctly. Uh, well, actually, we make a fair amount, but I don't want the inflation, so we're going to go ahead and take that. Financially, we're doing great, even though we're at full rate. Now, we do, I was going to say, do have a bit of a problem with these rebels. Now, can we go and negotiate with them at this point? I will accept your demands. You get more local autonomy, but you will not defect Castile. Please and thank you. And we will go and start coring you now. And with that in mind, everywhere that I'm coring, I think I should probably... Ooh, harsh treatment might be really expensive here. I still don't have that many people, though. I could put some guys sitting here, but the rebel stacks are going to be much, much bigger, the ones that spawn. Um, and I can't get there. Why do I have galleys? I think you're probably pretty irrelevant at this point in the game. Maybe not. I guess I could have you merge up with this trade fleet and protect you. That's probably what was going on before. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of the galleys. We'll save a little bit of cash. Not much, but some. This fleet, I think I would feel much better, actually, if it were sitting in Tangiers, because if a war does break out, we can block the Straits of Gibraltar right away. That'll be pretty nice. And yeah, I guess there's nothing to do but wait for... Hey, thank you, Nova Hollandia. Oh, right, this is your territory. It's slightly less relevant. Anyway. Um, sabotage. It's Switzerland. God damn, Switzerland. Why are you such a pain in the ass? Um, you guys are mostly damaged, but oh, I guess I should wait until you're repaired. Still, let's grab this, get you on the boat, get half of you to come over here. Uh, you know what? It's fine. We're going to take these guys. We're going to send them to Navarra because we're going to pick these guys up and drop them off in Algarve. It might be less important, actually, but mostly I want to just be able to move my troops around. It's less important because I did... Uh, no, I didn't do the uh, stamp down a rebels thing, so there might be some more that show up in Andalusia. And the last thing we want to do is reset the coring progress there. It's such a valuable province. It's going to cost a lot of points to do, so... Uh, let's go and smash down that stack. Especially since they're about to grab another one. Oh, we can grab these troops as well, move them over into the, the mainland. It does suck to be a little bit isolated. I think there'll probably be a follow-up war against Castile in the future. Well, we can feed Almeria to Granada, and then if we just grab Mercia for ourselves, then we're going to have a continuous line along the coast here to, to be able to walk down, and that's going to be great. Very, very good. No longer looted. Battle one over there. Great. Um, I don't even care about helping you resiege, actually. Can't dock, though. Anyway, just come into the sea, we'll pick up these guys, and go home. Maybe we should actually help Nuova Hollandia babysit. The problem is, it's the mismatch of um, culture groups. Although, apparently, Cosmopolitan may be an accepted culture group for these guys, because it is they have a large number of them, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll be all right. You guys. Uh, that is fine and manageable. How come I can't get on the ship? Oh, there's actually too many of you, I think. All right. Switzerland! So discontent. God damn you! All right. Where are you? Burn. What the hell can I do about this guy? He's got me rivaled. Can't even rival him back. I guess we're going to fabricate a claim. Now... Are you in a coalition? You are. So fabricating a claim will actually just continue to make it worse, assuming it um, it gets noticed, and it probably will. Aggressive expansion, pretty high. I think we've got nothing to do but to like sit on our hands for a little while. It sucks. 
There, nice high tax base at noon, yeah. It sucks, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, you guys get on the ship, and we will land you over here. You know, you know. Berg, that is a big revolt. Should not be a surprise, given what's happening. Um, and we don't have enough money to boost, or enough points to boost our... Um, Stability. <laughs> like words, come on. Word me. Can I make my Stadtholder our leader? Yes. And he's not bad, actually. Go go Willem. I think we should be okay doing this. We don't have any calves for flanking. But that's okay. We don't get tactics bonus though, right? If we don't do that. You know what? Uh let's quickly pop out two calves. And we will have you stop in Limburg to pick the first one up. Learned about Cherokee. All right. Uh, and I think we are over our limit for colonial. No, we didn't. We didn't actually get a plus one here. Hold on. I think that was the plan. Maybe not. I want to finish that early. That's true. So what am I colonizing? Mac Manabe. Oh, that's right. Oh, I guess if I'm going to do anything... Right, and I was going to finish. This is the knob. Let's recall you. We're going to go one over our limit. And we're going to do that one. Let's get that started. There should be a stable government. I agree. This makes it harder for me to make a stable government. We're going to lose the prestige. Prestige is good, but we've got some to spare, and the points are better. Pick up the guy in Cologne. Merge you up. Go and stomp that out. Clevian Nationalist. Oh, yeah. Crushed that pretty well. Freaking Switzerland, man. Hopefully it's hurting their reputation. I can only hope. Like, literally, it's the only thing I can do. Uh, Tripoli. Well, I suppose I don't blame you. Might still have to go and annex you at some point. Although probably you're just going to get annexed by the Ottomans. Look at you. you got little bits and pieces all over the place. Damn it, Ottomans. It'd be really nice if someone could do something about you. Naples. Going nuts. Crimea. Crimea. Did I just, like, yeah, let's add some extra syllables in there where they don't belong. Um, Kazan, Uzbek. Kazakh. Russia. I don't even see Russia over here, but. Wow. Never reached the Curia. Why not? I got lots of points. Let's go ahead and. Uh, well, that's too expensive. Let's go for these two right now. I love this button. Very handy. Big fan. Great new feature. Alright. Uh, who's black flagged? Oh, look at you. What the hell? My god. How long have you been there? A while. I thought I checked for the black flags at some point. Maybe I got distracted by the, uh, the navies. Um, that's fine. What are you? Your transports that are sitting there, which is fine. Go ahead and pick up the ones in Tangiers. You are sitting out in orbit. Oh, you are a transport fleet, which is fine. Second fleet up here, right, which took damage at some point. Um, you are light ships. I should have you join one of the other ones, but you know what? Just go to Tangiers for now. Um, oh, right, and some heavies that were parked out there. Gotta get our stuff all organized. Okay, that's fine. So this should finish in a second, and then we can dock and then pull in whoever we can. Actually, I suppose if we merged you, yeah, I could have gotten you on the ship before if I'd just done a merge, which I really should, kind of regardless of what happens here. Select army, consolidate, just because we have like such a massive shortage of manpower now. Um, all right, won that siege, good. Go ahead and dock. I don't know, maybe I should keep sticking around here because they might need a little bit more help. I think they've got all the accepted culture, but I'm a little bit concerned. Let's go ahead and... Who are you? Savoy Alliance Offer. Um, probably. We already have a diplomatic relationship with you, so I think we probably want to continue it. Um, let's go and land it here. Might put us over our limit. Well, almost certainly will put us over our limit. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> There we go. Select one, hold shift, and then box select, and it won't pick anyone else. We're going to grab you. We're going to move you over here. Grab you, split you in half, move you over there. 
We're going to take the Alliance offer. It's fine. Not looted. Attacked over there, but we've got defenses, so we're okay. All right. Still would like to do the Indian thing. Um, why is it going to cost me 100 points for this place? Mm, tax base of 5. Big rebellion risk, and I don't have any soldiers down here. Well, start coring it. Even if I boot stamp it, it's still going to have a pretty high revolt risk. It's going to cost 50 more. I think what we're going to do is move some troops down there at this point. Let's detach these guys. Attach. Grab you. And we're going to go ahead and land. Hopefully you'll do enough. Oh, you don't actually have the leader. Oh, that was the ship leader. Okay. Um, that's fine. Those, those espionage things. There's a lot of crap going on. Republican tradition is slowly going up. Really have to avoid doing anything else that costs us Republican tradition. Maybe once we get like above 80 or 90, then we'll integrate Adamanyak. But for now, we got to keep them around. Nothing else to do about it. Makes you miss being a, uh, a kingdom. On the other hand, the benefits are still pretty good. I mean, that trade income is pretty strong. And I do like the heavy ship combat ability. Very, very good. We're still at 100. Slowly decaying. Although it's being fought by long-time rival thing, which will cap at some point. I don't know what. Maybe 25? Could happen. Uh, more ships. Good. Merge you guys up. And yeah, just hang out here in case we get some rebels. <laughs> some rebels? Some rebels. Uh, what's the force limit? Oh, we can actually throw the whole stack there, and then they'll get the automatic crossing penalty. Our governor in the Dutch West Indies has died. Let's go and... The Dutch West Indies, which is here. Tell you what, let's go... More military. I don't know if you guys can pull anything off. Maybe not. I should probably not do that. I should probably go with like more trade-oriented stuff. You're going to camp out there, which is probably okay. But you indeed do not have a leader. That could be a pretty big uprising. So could that. So I kind of want a leader there. Who else is left? That was Willem. Where are you? Oh, I've got two leaders sitting out here? No. That's Anton. So where's Ice? It's not assigned anywhere. So why can't I... Hang on. Andalusia, Andalusia. Oh, that's probably before the merge. Now I can probably assign you over here. Yeah, all right, good. All right, feels nice. Still got those buggers over there. Got some nonsense going on in the Congo. Pretender rebels. No one to convert. Still hoping for that mission. Well, I guess I gotta complete my mission. Uh, the mission to become reformed. So my mission is still to secure spices. Which this won't actually help for. Um, I probably, you know what, that's what I should be focusing on. Attacking Mataram. Now I do have, I can call for a crusade against them. Sweet. Well then. And I believe I do have a claim on Mataram, and I do. So, I need some more troops over here is what I need. You know what? You are supposed to be there to stomp down rebellions, but it's going to have to wait. This is going to be overkill. We just need to win the first fight. Actually, the biggest question will be their rebels. They are behind on tech, but not that behind. Let us repay this loan. Alright, we got a CB for free from that too. You're good there. It'll overextend us slightly more. But these are these are coring relatively quick. So we're gonna be okay. Yeah, you camp out there, make sure everything is groovy. National revolt risk. Um I think that's probably a smart thing to do still going to be high, but it'll be slightly less brutal. I don't know. The tax modifier is pretty damn good. Do we have anything to increase our... No. National manpower modifier, too high. Too expensive. We are potent. We are finally number one. It took us a long time to get in the number one position. And we're actually in the number one position in every single rank right now, so we're earning a lot of points from that. Let's repay some more loans. 
It's always nice to be able to take them out if there's an emergency, though. And we do make a lot of money with our loans right now. Um, the Mac. Yeah, so we'll have to leave some people behind there just to deal with that. Spices. Cotton. Uh, one of these is the trade goods map mode. Spices, spices, and then up here, may have to do something with that. Brunei had one of the highest uh, power projections for a while, if I recall. Great Britain, stop being like that. All right, we have these troops here too. We should probably move them off this island. There's really little revolt risk. I should probably bring them into play somewhere. After, I suppose these ships didn't have to necessarily ferry the troops from Africa, but after they drop them off here, maybe I'll come by over here, pick these up, bring those to Africa, and then once this war is over, then we'll reincorporate that back in. We'll have to rest these ships a little bit, though. Because they're taking some damage. Um, recall. Right, so that's one of, our, one of our peoples, one of our subjects. So... We could actually integrate Baden, but I can't do it right now. We've got way too little Republican tradition. God, that stability cost is ridiculous. All right. Declare war. Um, We actually get more prestige with the Holy War. So I guess we'll do that. It's fine. So we should get the effects of the Crusades. So, um, actually, I yeah, leave most of these behind. Well, you know what? Group up. We're going to leave say two infantry behind to guard that and then move the rest in here and then we'll mass siege yay crusades yeah that's actually really handy mostly the more manpower <laughs> it's really good uh detach siege go here detach siege go down here now i'm not gonna be able to vassalize them because they're gonna be too backwards Probably, I assume, we can only protectorize them. Uh, and I actually won't be able to make it over there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and I don't actually have an, a real military. They have heavy ships. Heavy ships. Whereas I just have a handful of transports over here. You know, assuming I could ever pick them. Hmm. Well, that'll be a pain in the ass, because we won't be able to get 100% war score without grabbing those guys over there. And I don't think we've won enough battles to trigger. Oh, no, we have. Okay, good. So we'll get a ticking war goal or war score that way. So we might be okay. We can probably full annex them. Just out of curiosity, is vassaling on the table? No, protectorizing them is, but we don't want to do that. <laughs> you, Caravels, are doing things good. You are being black flagged because it's war time. So I guess what I'll do is actually bring you over here just to say. Ah, oh, we lost one of our conquistadors. And we can hire a free military leader. So that was... Oh, is that one of the ones over here? Did we just move him over here? Yeah, that's kind of a pain in the ass. That's fine. We'll wait before we pick one. Ah, uh, we knew that would happen. It's going to reset my siege progress or my coring process like instantly. I should probably just cancel it and get a refund because there's no way I can get troops here before that ticks over. So we will get a few points back anyway. Um, I could move these troops. I do have 15 transports. It would actually take two trips to get at everything. And we really like to babysit this. I do not want to lose that core. That core progression. I've got lots of supply limit left over there. I think we'll just give them to their... Uh... Oh! Oh! 28 nobles in Normandy. More autonomy, which for 20 years will lower taxes and manpower. Or reform society and lose stability. I think I will have to try to crush them with this army over here. I guess we'll move them into place first. Hopefully there's enough time for that. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but I guess it's okay. 
I don't know if this auto completes after a certain amount of time. I don't know which option it's going to take. If it takes one at random or something, which would be really bad. I should probably just hit this button and maybe grab a couple of mercs just to make sure that we've got the advantage. Err. I have no more troops over here. And yeah, my troops are pretty isolated. If like Austria or someone like that decided to declare war on me, I would be in kind of a sticky situation. Well, here's what I can do. All right, I'll go and say crush them. I will land these guys into Co. And then I'll take 15 troops out of here. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it'll still be a pretty good stack. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure to leave my leader behind, though. That's 12. Uh, you know what? That's probably good enough. Get on the boat. You guys come and land in co. Awesome. Okay. Brr. Yeah, we'll just have to exceed the or accept their demands. Exceed to their demands? I'm pretty sure that's that's a correct word. Oh, this video's gone on way too long. We're gonna put a cut in here. See you guys next time.